Okay. Well, I'd like to continue to talk with the video on because people can learn from this. Oh, hey, hey. On the Bible. You can turn I'm, it off because you don't have my consent. We're in public. They're already filming you without your consent. Okay? So you can walk away. I can walk away. You want me to leave? Or do you want to continue to talk uh, about the Bible? If you want to continue to talk, I'd like you to turn it off. Okay. Well, holy hell, <laughs> right off the bat with a bloody face palm. I didn't even say anything yet. Well, I kind of made a noise, but that's not the point. Also, did you just say okay? So, uh, you're not gonna make a video. What am I gonna do then if you're not gonna make a video? Come on, Thompson. You gotta at least uh, entertain me a little bit. Dance for me, boy. Of course he's not gonna turn off the video. Charlatan's gonna charlatan. They need to see this. That people who believe in the Bible. So if I had a Bible here, Could I ask would you? you nicely and lovingly to turn off yeah, of course. One question before I turn off the video. Yeah, come on, Thompson. Stop harassing the man. He asked nicely. I mean, seriously. What's with this insufferable generation of uh, constantly going out on the street with their phones, putting them in people's faces, asking questions on a topic they have no interest in? Not to mention on a topic that is completely nonsensical. Thompson, you're a flurf. Anything coming from your mouth is horseshit. And people don't like the smell of horseshit, so please, take a few steps back and let the man enjoy some fresh air. If I had a Bible here, would you swear on the Bible that everything in the Bible about creation is allegory? Everything about creation in the Bible is allegory. Well, of course you're gonna get hidden meanings from a book full of metaphors. But here's the thing. We have better ways of understanding life on this planet. It's called, uh, oh, I don't know. Science, bitch. And the educational authorities are telling you the truth. You're not allowed to use the word truth because you don't even understand what the word truth means. You know, I've come to notice every YouTube channel or person who uses truth in their name or some kind of validation for their claims. They are <laughs> what I'd like to call doing a drive-by truth. Not going into the details of it, just saying it's truth and then running away. Now mind you, not literally running away, but running away from the questions that are being asked by floating like a butterfly without stinging like a bee. Man, I really hate these uh, little text on screen. This is just a hypothetical question. I didn't have a Bible for him to swear on. Oh, who the hell cares, Thompson? Would you swear on the Bible? Okay, if I had a Bible, would you swear that it's not flat and school is telling me the truth about where I live? Would you do that? Well, I don't know what that bus sound is, but it sounds really fitting for your stupid asinine bullshit. And I do believe the official term is horseshit, Mr. Thompson. What exactly do you expect would happen if someone put their hand on your fancy little book there and somehow swear to something you think is not true? Would they burst into flames? If your brain farts would be accurate, here's a hint. Your brain farts are just smelly. They're not accurate at all. Not to mention people don't burst into flames or whatever you think uh, would happen. Okay, let me make this freaking super simple. <laughs> They're still buzzing him. Also, is it just me? He just met Nathan Thompson, and this man <laughs> looks so done. I can only imagine what would happen if he was walking around with that stupid globe hat thing of his. Oh, good God, man, this man has a punchable beard. If I had a Bible, which we both believe in, is the Word of God. You know how hard it is to find proper content for this bearded dipshit? Also, speaking of punchable beard. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna watch and observe and wait. Would you swear on the Bible? You know, that's the third time you said it right now. Swearing on the Bible literally doesn't mean anything. It's only on a personal level that it means something. So, what are you trying to... <laughs> no, <laughs> I was gonna use the word prove. But clearly, prove is not the word I'm looking for. Well, it is quite obvious it is the word Mr. Thompson is looking for. Even though, it's not the word he's looking for. That I'm a false teacher, and the earth is a spinning ball. Would you swear on the Bible? What seems to be the hold up? Well, to be quite honest, th th these are those mental barriers that religious people have. I mean, their book is really important to them, and they think something will happen if they don't speak the truth, and he's not entirely sure about it, but that's just because he's not prepared. You see, charlatans like Nathan Thompson basically go out on the street and harass people who are not ready for them. And here's the result. Someone actually at a loss for words, which of course will be interpreted by Mr. Thompson here as a win for the flat earth, because clearly someone unprepared on the street being harassed by Beardman here is the ultimate evidence they need for the flat earth, or should I say ultimate truth. 
Because that's what you said five minutes ago. I'm a, I'm a false teacher, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, Nathan. What? You are not a teacher, Flurf. You're just a random dude on the street who thinks he is actually the expert on anything he talks about. Dunning Kruger effect. Oh God, it's at that time again. Holy hell, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that. Would you swear on the Bible that that's true? Or was that just an uh, empty claim? You don't really believe that. Because if you really believed it, you would swear on the Bible. Well, first of all, not to rag on this man. I mean, seriously, he's being harassed by a Bible-thumping flurf. While being completely caught off guard. Hey, Nathan, hand me your Bible. I'll swear on it. It doesn't really work, though, because, you know, I am a non-believer. The world will explode if I touch a Bible. Right? Also, speaking of empty claims, your claims are so void of content, ah, it's giving the empty space between your ears a run for its money. It's not complicated. Oh, exactly, it's not complicated, but you're missing the point here, Mr. Thompson. At a very superficial first glance, the earth looks flat. But, if you use your brain, uh, well, you gotta find it first, but if you, uh, were to find the brain, no, don't abuse a brain. Nathan, stay away from brains, alright? But let's say, hypothetically, because that's a word you seem to like to use, you would be able to brain, like normal people. You could actually look into things, without being disingenuous, or cherry-picking the stuff, and lo and behold, suddenly we figure out the Earth is actually a globe. An oblate spheroid, to be exact. You lot keep saying, prove it, uh, we have proven it time and time again. You, dismissing it, doesn't change reality, yet you somehow think it does. Would you swear on the Bible that I'm a liar regarding the shape of the earth or not? It's not very clear. You called it? me a false teacher, buddy. He's not your buddy, pal, and you're not a teacher guy. You're just a smelly flurf with a smelly beard, stinking up that supermarket with your flurf horse shit. Was that too harsh? No, of course it's not harsh. This is Nathan Thompson we're talking about. Why don't you go bounce a ball on a hammer, child? Okay. Well, this what have I said we're, that we're is like false? Eight conversations later. That what have I point. said that is false? Exactly. Well, let's have a look, shall we? Team Skeptic, could you do me the honors of dinging this idiot? Because people can learn from this. Could I ask Would you, you nicely and lovingly to turn off? Yeah, of course. One question before I turn off the video. And this one isn't so much saying things, but showing things. These are not evidence for a flat earth. These are just a very tiny part of the story. Story is much bigger, but the bigger story, <laughs> you're not interested in that because, because you have to sell your snake oil. And as such... Because Nathan Thompson is an idiot. <laughs> oh, 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 he definitely is, Team Skeptic. Thanks for that. It's not a faith, I told you you could test it. You know what else is kind of uh, suspicious here? That's what you said, five minutes ago, I'm a, I'm a false teacher, right? I mean, five minutes ago. This entire video by Mr. Thompson here has a runtime of less than five minutes. And I haven't heard this man say he was a liar or not a teacher. But yeah, he is a liar and not a teacher, so you know there's that. But I'm missing a part of the picture here, Mr. Thompson. You wouldn't be holding out on us, would you? Also, <laughs> I'm not interested in that part of the picture. <laughs> Uh. So how is testing something, something your Bible says, test all things, how's that fake? Test all things. That's just a statement from your fancy little book there. Now, how you test, and of course, if you base it on faith, that's gonna be the real question here. And if you are going to involve God or miracles, of course it's gonna be faith, because you cannot prove it, Mr. Thompson. And faith is about as useful as a hippo on a tightrope. I wish you well. It was at this moment. This globe. <laughs> Don't you even dare, Thompson. It was at that moment. Shut the fuck up, mate. You are not funny. You're just a dipshit who thinks he's funny. Also, you didn't win anything here, so, you know, it's, uh, it's not even applicable. Well now, what a fitting end to a fitting bearded man being punched in the face. <laughs> now mind you, I don't condone violence, but this is funny. <laughs> Schadenfreude, eh? So yeah, the rest of his video consists of flat earth memes. Let's just kick those around for a bit. I mean, there are of course the usual repetitive horse shit, but hey, it could be fun. Not to mention I'm gonna remove his music, because I am not entirely certain if this is copyrighted. You've been living in a dream world, Neo. So yeah, the usual upside down. <laughs> there is no upside down on the globe, Nathan. Why do you flirts keep using this? You basically took something funny and turned it into stupid. You give back those Australia memes. 
Ah, yes, one of my major pet peeves. Fluffer camera use. Focus on the bloody star, and you would see something entirely different, Nathan. Heck, right now it could even be a planet, but we don't know because you haven't focused it. Your dipshittery is showing because you actually had the audacity to place your name underneath this... Oh, good god, man. Well, good job there, Flurf. Ah, so you are capable of properly focusing. It's a bit overexposed there, but that is indeed Saturn. What's your point? Oh wait, Flurfs don't have points. They just make noise. Or could it be the flickering effect caused by a Earth's atmosphere is somehow your evidence for it being submerged in water above the firmament? Why do you flush make not being able to understand or comprehend your business? <laughs> that truly baffles me, especially with the convictions you guys have. Oh hey, look at that moving sky, or rather, rotating planet. Thanks for proving the globe spins. I'd say that's rather interesting. <laughs> oh, say it ain't so. Oh look, the sun is moving towards us. It's growing in size. Maybe we can get the birdie to fly in front of it. Even Dell is laughing at you, Thompson. It is the glare that's growing. Now, if you were to actually use a solar field, you would see the sun not actually increasing in size. Ugh, more out of focus nonsense. Skip. Oh, good god, man. And there's a guy with a brain that's out of focus. And contrary to popular belief, you're not being clever there, Thompson. Oh yes, I was wondering when that would happen. I would have expected more. You know, I find it rather impressive you actually managed to get three face palms, one face punch and four dings by Team Skeptic in such a short video. I mean, I find this man insufferable. That's why I can't I can't continue on with this bloody video. Instead, let's have a look at the people in the background walking past because I found it rather amusing. Short but fun. But hell, I mean just look at the expression on those people's faces. They're not entirely sure if they should phone the police because there's a man being harassed by a beard. <laughs> and I'll let you interpret that any which way you want. Regardless, Thompson, I'm gonna sentence you to be a gesture in the order of the sillies and I don't care if you enjoy your stay or not. Also, I should have done this ages ago. But I have this uh, thing against uh, lying charlatans such as yourself there, buddy. And you're not even my buddy, pal. Not to mention I didn't even want to have uh, Reggie Cow, Reggie Rex or Google Girl involved. And with that, I'm out of here. Be sure to tickle the links, bells and buttons all around this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I kinda wonder what he's hiding behind that beard. <laughs>